Well, this story, I don't care how you weave this in. This is the one you – did you hear the Ty Domi story with me? No. No. Because we, 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 we talked a lot about everything, but we got to have a fun story. So this is at a nightclub. All right, great way to end it. A good way to end it. We have to tell. I know this is all over. You guys can fit it in wherever you no, want. Right oh, now. No, right now. Because Ty Domi wrote this in his book, and he had a very successful book. I hated Ty Domi, the passion. He hated me. He was a young kid, though. Always come after me as a young kid to – I was already like, every time I went to New York, he'd, I'd go, here comes Domi again, because I was the guy that would oblige. And he thanked me, by the way, when he went to Toronto, lined up against me, and I was getting older. He was, oh, we're not fighting anymore, Kenny. I'm so grateful that you fought me. Like, you gave me that respect because you let me get my feet wet, you know, when, when I had to make a name for myself. But, and we're great friends to this day, so another guy. But So Mark Messier's with the Rangers, as Ty Domi is, Mark's with me. So we, China Club was the big nightclub. Oh, All yeah. the celebrities went. I was a regular Monday nights. This place was hopping. They loved me. I, I, I was in heaven. I loved the fact that, you know, starstruck seeing all these celebrities. I drank shots with Sean Penn, to name a few. Yeah, I'll name drop a little bit. Uh-huh. So I think I'm dying. He's a madman, isn't he? Back then, yeah. man, you know, it's just, it's, we all were <laughs> madmen back in the day. But that was just one name. Just a lot of people hung around, and they loved me because I was just one of those crazy ath- athlete guys, that, and I – was enamored by some of these guys so so it was pretty cool so all of a sudden a bunch of the rangers walk in and i'm the, and but mark's there so obviously I give mark a hug and and then there's domi and i go oh god brian leach who i loved had respect so there's a few of them walk in monday night we both both teams didn't play for a while we weren't going to play them for a couple weeks so okay i'm gonna have fun hey kenny how are you man have a good time so ty's with him and ty put this in his book and it's it's a great story. so mark goes mark's egging us on Everybody's having a few drinks, and Mark's going, Ty, I'm telling you, you know, I grew up with this kid, and I'm older than Ty, about 10 years old or whatever, maybe. Strong, one of the stronger guys I've ever seen, talking about me. And then he goes, Kenny, Ty's strong as a bull. And he was like, built like a fire hydrant. He says, you two got to have an arm wrestle. I want to put a little wager on this. So, you know, and I think I was a little more lit up than Ty was at the time. I was having a good time, but. Absolutely, let's go. And I'm a competitor. I competed everything. I hate to lose at anything. So come on, Mark. Okay, sure. So we get a table. The bouncers around. Everybody's watching. Ty Domi and Ken Danico have an arm wrestle. Goes pretty good. Sure enough, he beats me. Like I, uh, so we do the other arm. He beats me again. And Ty's, you know, sh- short arms, powerful as hell. And he, I can tell you that when I fought him, one of the toughest guys I've ever fought. So I lose both, and I'm angry. I'm pissed. Well, I. And you're drunk. Not very, yeah, and, and lit, and not very smart. I grab him. I oops, massive headbutt. Now, who's gonna headbutt Ty Domi at the time? I'm pretty <laughs> crazy and have a pretty hard head. That might be the hardest head. He's in a the, ram. The history of he's a ram. The history of the. Now, I do it again. I'm going. I'm angry. It's 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 an all out brawl. Punches are starting to get thrown. Every Marcos, you like the, like <clears throat> the parent up top going, you two idiots, stop. Bouncers get it. <laughs> he goes, this was a friendly arm wrestle. <laughs> yeah, those are really, like, really Mark friendly. Angry at bowlers, and I, I just and we totally settled down right away. I go to practice the next day because he heard from our trainer. I got a goose egg sticking out of my head. The wealth of my head from headbutt and tie domi was ridiculous, and I had a hundred dollar bet with him that wasn't paid that night because I ended up leaving. Sure enough, we play him two weeks. He says, "Type on his way." He says, "Can't believe it." Danico sends a envelope down with the hundred dollar bill and with from a, one of the trainers because I had to. I had to pay up. I, I lost fair share. What a story! Up. So angry. So here's the China Club. There's actors there. There's other celebrities there. There's the bouncers. These two young dumb hockey players are headbutting. I look back and I go. I can't believe I really did crap like that, but it's great. It was fun at the time. Yeah, yeah. Can it just? It, it's hard to fathom because I'm such a different person today, you know. But I laugh at it, and when my buddies go out to drink, say, "Does it, does it bother you when we drink around?" He said, "You guys can drink around me all want. I spilt more than you guys drank. <laughs> yeah. Have at it, and I'm glad you can do it successfully." Yeah. I said I wanted to be that. Well, I'll tell you what. We're I gonna, couldn't. We're gonna line up. We're gonna line up a rematch with Ty, and we're gonna get that arm wrestle. Oh back. boy! I start cranking the yeah, weights, buddy. I, I, make sure you tell me about two months advance so I get to the gym a little bit more. Because <laughs> yeah. apparently, I had found out Ty had never lost it. 
arm wrestle in history. And he that was still has his it. forte at the, and we're still in touch. But he put that in his book, so I'm not telling him that school. He spins it that he hammered me. No, they were good matches. <laughs> there we go. But I lost. Yes, salt I and pepper lost. On the stake. There we go.